Well, tonight, the future of the Cal Palace is up in the air. Lawmakers have introduced a new bill that will not only ban gun shows, but it could tear down the arena. Nightbeat's Katie Nielsen explains why one group is now on a mission to save the famed fairgrounds. <laughs> Cheers and pop music echoed through the concrete halls of the Cow Palace today as cheerleaders competed in the amphitheater, one of hundreds of small community events held here every year. It promotes shows here that can't afford Oracle Arena. This cheerleading event can't afford the Chase Arena because it's a cheerleading event. It's not the Warriors. Kevin Patterson is the executive director of the Coalition to Save the Cow Palace. He also puts on the Dickens Christmas Fair at the Cow Palace every year. He's concerned about the future of the space because of Senate Bill 281. It was introduced by State Senator Scott Weiner last month and would transfer ownership of the Cow Palace from the State Department of Agriculture to a joint powers authority made up of representatives. San Francisco, Daly City, and San Mateo County. So this is about making sure that the local community can actually have a say in what happens at the Cal Palace and what the future holds. One of the main reasons there's so much interest in the property is its size. It's almost 70 acres. It has 250,000 square event space and a 14,000 seat amphitheater. It's right now being very underutilized. The community has wanted something to happen with that land for a long time. Housing, mixed use development. Patterson worries if a local board takes control, they'll only look at the value of the real estate, not the importance of the Cow Palace as an affordable community event space that hosts everything from the dog shows to the Christmas fair. Then there's also the history on the box office wall the signatures of some of the greatest artists of our time, all of whom performed at the Cow Palace. Not the place to solve the housing crisis, that's for sure. There are lots of other places to build houses. You don't need to bulldoze history and an important community asset. State Senator Scott Weiner says the bill does not dictate what happens with the property and says there could be a compromise. You could have the Cow Palace there and also take a portion of this mega massive parking lot and turn it into housing and retail. On the Night Beat, I'm Katie Nielsen. If the bill passes, it would pass ownership of the Cow Palace to the local board on January 1st, 2021. There is a subcommittee hearing scheduled next Wednesday to discuss the bill.